Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic called as instantaneous center of rotation. So it is a part of kinematics of rigid body and it is different from kinematics of particle. So in this topic, the instantaneous center of rotation is very important. It is very important because most of the times this question is asked in the question number one, that is compulsory question. So if the question is easy, you can easily solve it. And in a syllabus, they have mentioned that maximum two link type of question will be asked on this topic. So this makes this question very simple. If you have understanding of the instantaneous center, then you can easily solve this type of question. For that, I have prepared a stepwise method for you. If you follow those methods, you are definitely going to solve this question and you will clear this subject. For that, I request you to watch this video till the end. So this question was asked mainly in the first question. So four to five marks will be assigned to it. So maximum 10 marks question will be asked on this topic. So first we understand what is instantaneous center of rotation. So the ICR is a concept in kinematics that identify a point around which the object appears to be rotated at particular instant. So ICR represent instantaneous center of rotation. For a fan, it's rotated in a circular motion. Its center is always fixed, but for some mechanism it is impossible to find its center it always changing along its motion the icr is not a physical point within the object but a theoretical point outside the object where the rotation motion can be analyzed as if it's were a pure rotational about that point the icr is essential for understanding the complex motion of the object and especially when they have different velocities at different point and this icr the center of rotation keeps on changing along every instant okay that you should understand well like and explain it with the help of example consider a car moving along a curve path at any given point the different parts of the car have the different velocities the point where the car appears to be rotating at that specific instant is t suppose a car is moving along this curve path this is our car sorry for my drawing so it's front wheels, these are the front wheels, this is the front end and this is the rear end okay? and rear wheels will have the different velocities. Okay? The objects which are sitting in the car have the different velocities, various components have the different motions and the velocities of the car. Okay? In this we will consider the, some scenarios, the car is turning to the left side, so car is turning to the left side. The front wheels are turning more sharply than the rear wheels. At specific moment, you have to observe that the cars seem to be rotating about a particular point on the road. This instantaneous center is called as a ICR. Okay, we'll find out some ICR there. We'll see how to find out. But when it is rotating towards left side, we'll assume that we get some center about which it is rotating. Okay, though the components have the different velocity, different direction. But this center is called as a ICR. We'll see with the help of example. Okay. Now such type of questions will be asked in the final exam. This is a single link question. In the next video, we'll discuss about the two link video. Okay. Rod AB. This is a rod AB of length 3 meter is kept on a smooth plane as shown in figure. The velocities of the end A is 5 meter per second. So VA is equal to 5 meter per second along the inclined plane. Locate the ICR and find the velocities of the point B. Find the velocity of the point B. The angle is given 30 degree. Angle between the horizontal and the AB is given 20 degree. So plain and simple question. So we'll start with the step number one. Show velocities with direction and magnitude at end points of the rod. So this is the given inclined plane of 30 degree angle. AB rod 20 degree with the horizontal now a point and b point so at a point now this rod will follow this inclined plane so it will slide down along this inclined plane like this one this is not actual visualization but for you understand you can understand the a point will slide down along this one and the end b will slide along this end instead of going down it will slide along this one so it will move along a like this one so its velocity is represented along this inclined plane so this is va the value of va is also given 5 meter per second the velocity of b is along this plane horizontal plane it is moving along horizontal plane okay 
so this is vb the value of vb is unknown and it is to be calculated after knowing the velocities we'll go for the step number two that is draw perpendicular line to the velocity so from here you have to take an angle 90 degree draw the line similarly we should take a 90 degree angle here and draw a line so similarly we'll draw first line you can see increase the length of the line in upward and downward direction same way draw a perpendicular line from point a so this is the perpendicular line which is perpendicular to the velocity always remember don't draw the perpendicular to the a b draw the perpendicular to this velocity line so this is how we have drawn two lines now locate the icr Location of the ICR is very simple. Where these two lines, line 1 and line 2 intersect, it is a point called as ICR, instantaneous center of rotation and it is represented by capital I. Now the length which is connecting instantaneous center and A and A is called as IA. The second length which connect instantaneous center with the point B is called as IB. First we will consider a triangle IAB. So in that this angle can be calculated by subtracting 20 degree from the total 90 degree because this angle is 90 degree. So 90 minus 20 will give you 70 degree. Right. So this is the first angle of this triangle. Then the next one will find out this angle. To calculate this angle we should know this angle because 90 minus this angle will give, give you this value. For that this angle is given 30 degree and this angle is equal to 180 total angle is 180 minus 30 degree so this angle is 150 degree okay this angle is 150 degree now we'll consider this triangle this is triangle here this is a triangle right so total angle addition of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees 150 degree and 20 degrees so addition of that is 170 degree so total angle remaining angle is equal to 180 degree minus 150 degree minus 20 degree so this angle is equal to 10 degree okay so as this angle is 10 degree this angle will be total angle that is 90 minus 10 is equal to 80 degree so in this way we have calculated two angles of the triangle 70 80 and a third angle of this triangle will be 180 minus 80 minus 70. So 180 minus the first angle 80 degree minus the second angle 70 degree. This will give you the value of third angle that is 30 degree. To calculate angle what you have done. First this angle is given it is equal to 30 degree. So this angle is equal to 180 minus 30 degree that is 150 degree. This angle is 20 degree. So 150 plus 20, 170. So the remaining angle will be 180 minus 170. So this angle is 10 degree, right? Now this is 90 degree angle. So 90 minus 10 will be 80 degree. So in this way, all these angles were calculated. If you are confused in calculation of the angle, you can rewatch this video. The calculation of angle is critical part of this ICR. So if you are good at finding the angles, then only you can solve this question very easily because the angle finding is very easy, but you should have the basic knowledge of that. Now we'll go to the fifth step. That is, we'll consider this triangle IAB and we'll find out the sides of the triangle. So consider triangle IAB, upper triangle, and apply the sine rule. Now sine rule is similar to the Lamis theorem. For example, this length AB, this is the length AB. So against angle is 30 degree, okay? Or angle which is not connected to the AB. 80 degree is connected to the AB and 70 degree is connected to the AB also, okay? So 30 is not connected to the AB. AB divided by sin 30 is equal to next side IB, IB. So 30 degree and 70 degree are connected to the IB. Untouched angle is 80 degree. So consider this. So IB divided by sin 80. It is equal to IA divided by. Now the angle is 80 and 30 degree is in contact with IA. But 70 degree is not in contact with IA. So 
i divided by sin 70 in this way we have to apply the sine rule so all angles should be included here three angles should be included in this calculation so repetition will not happen here so take a note of that now put the value of ab is equal to 3 so is equal to ib divided by sin 80 is equal to i divided by sin 70 now separate out 3 by sin 30 is equal to ib divided by sin 80 similarly we will write 3 divided by sin 30 is equal to i divided by sin 70 similar to the Lamy's theorem here find out the value of ib just multiply 3 into sin 80 divided by sin 30 so ib is equal to 5.909 here i is equal to 3 into sin 70 divided by sin 30 so the value of i is 5.638 so in the step 5 we have calculated all the sides of the triangle in the next step we will find out the angular velocity of the rod so for that first consider this formula v is equal to r omega v is the velocity linear velocity r is the radius and omega is the angular velocity so this is the single formula that you require for the calculation the unit of v is meter per second the unit of r is meter and omega is radian per second okay so the velocity of end a is known so we'll start with the known velocity va so consider end A of the rod. So VA is equal to where is the instantaneous center? It is located here. So find out its radius. Radius can be calculated by connecting instantaneous center with that end. So IA is the radius. So directly you can write IA. Sometimes it is written as RIA, but simply we can write IA into the angular velocity of rod AB. So this angular velocity remains constant irrespective of the point. That's why it is a common factor omega a b now velocity v a is given phi u i a is already calculated 5.638 so omega a b is equal to phi u divided by 5.638 the value of omega is 0.8868 the unit of omega is radian per second so in this way we can calculate the omega for the rod right remember start with the velocity start with the end whose velocity is known use the formula v is equal to r omega r is a radius from the instantaneous center to that respective point after that we'll go to the point b whose velocity is not known we'll use the same formula v is equal to r omega now consider a and b of the rod apply the formula vb is equal to radius radius from the instantaneous center to that particular point so this is ib is the radius and omega ib is common everywhere so vb is equal to ib the value of ib is 5.909 into omega ab already calculated 0 0.8868 radian per second so do the calculation we will get the value of vb is equal to 5.2403 meter per second right so by following these six steps we can easily find the instantaneous center and the respective velocities of any end by using this method so first you have to identify the velocity so mark the velocities along its direction of the movement after that draw the lines which are perpendicular to the velocities then locate the icr find the angles and the respective lengths of the triangle after that use the formula v is equal to r omega if you follow all the steps you can easily solve this type of numerical if you find this video helpful you can share this video with your friends you can like this video that will definitely motivate me and subscribe to our channel thank you thank you very much